Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stally111 and today I'm playing Bound by Flame and I'm going to give it a quick review for you guys. I was planning on doing a Let's Play but it turned out to be a bit of a failure at the start of the game and uh, I'm just going to jump in there and tell you it has a very good enticing story. The From day dot it was really, really like... I don't really know how to describe it, but it, I really just felt like I needed to carry on to get it. Pretty much, it's a it's a good good game uh, for the story. Excellent. From day dot, the difficulty was very difficult. It was very hard uh, compared to your normal RPGs such as like Fable or Kings of Amalur Reckoning. Um, has a very high difficulty spike from these normal games. Uh, it's very similar to Dark Souls from what I've seen of it. And I'm just showing you it right now. I'm live in the game. And I'm going to show off some of the combat in a second or two. Which, uh, it does have some very nice visuals. But the armor is... It's, some of it's excellent. In the cutscenes though, it's not so great. But some of the, the textures are pretty good. But some of them, again aren't so great so it's kind of a half-hearted job I mean look at the, the grass it's not exactly very fluid anyway um, I'm on my PC at the moment so it shouldn't be too laggy but uh, let's just go in with the actually no I'll show off some of the customization options so you have your basics you've got your weapons like your main primary weapon, which is a sword or an axe or a hammer or something like that. I'm using this. I don't really use the uh, attack, my, my attacking weaponry. Uh, I can't remember this. I think it's just called a st attacking stance or something. Um, I usually go for the ranger stance, which is usually your dual weapons. There is a subtle um, sneak kind of mode in it um isn't great but it's it is there they've tried i've only i've not i've only got about seven hours clocked into the game according to steam and i don't have much weapons but i've tried to upgrade i've upgraded biting once eh, twice and the guardian once uh you got your spear crossbow i've not actually purchased any items by the way just so you know and i've only got 269 gold i've not sold or bought anything uh, I'm level 14, but um, you get this, uh, this spear crossbow, the spear daggers, and the default sword, obviously by default. Spear crossbow, you have to, uh, have to create your um, your arrow, your bolts. So that's a bit of a nuisance, but I don't, you, you don't really use this. It's kind of a bad game for anyone who likes to play as a ranged character, unless you do have upgrade your magic a lot. So um, there's armor, which I've got two pieces, or I could just go around with uh, no body plates and no torso. Uh, you got your gloves. I've just got one boots again, and the legendary helmet, which it's pretty nice in this mode. But in cutscenes, it's not so great with the textures on my character. Then we got your bag. You can craft all of these items. Health potions are very, very useful in this game. The health potions, and for me, I'm usually in the ranger mode, hitting B, or just the dodge button. Health potions and dodge are the most useful weapons, because you're going to get damaged a lot, unless you're on recruit difficulty or something. Um, anyway, components, just all the stuff that you uh, use to make all these items, which I presume I'll get more of this, because I've only got 7 hours in, and obviously there's going to be more. Uh, quest item, don't have any. Right, the skill trees pretty good pretty good skill trees actually uh, you got your warrior which I thought I said attacking stance but you got warrior stance your ranger stance and your pyromancy uh, pyromancer which is like all stance it's already there it's basically your magic so hence the name bound by flame you are consumed spoiler alert you've got devil inside you that is a fire kind of demon did I say devil <laughs> sorry a demon um, but yeah, you can use fire, and it's pretty useful, uh, especially with uh, 
the things I've got. I've I've kind of concentrated on the ranger because I've been using the ranger and pyromancy, very very useful. Um, you can zoom in and select them. I don't have any points at the moment, sadly enough. Um, yeah, you got your feet, um, which is just like more just bonuses to your overall character. Um, they're pretty pretty useful. I mean, uh, these these ones are pretty. You, you ha kind of have to have them because your health is everything. You might get hit and you're dead in one hit, or if you have these upgrades, it's two hits. You have like 10, 20 health left. Very very low. These are useful for um, upgrading your damage, and uh, there's um. Why is my pyroman my other one? Oh right, I know what's happened here. Um, the because I made a different decision, it's not letting me have that benefit anymore. Because I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil any. But uh, let's just get into the combat. I'll actually, show you some sneaky sneaking around. Hopefully, it works on these guys. I doubt it because this guy's about to jump down, and I need to take these guys out. And now, someone saw me. Right, so it's I, I quite like the we're just using a fire ability now. I'm gonna keep one over here and take him out. But uh, I've got fire blades now, and I've not actually used these two attacks. Okay, I don't know what that was, but I've not used that before. Um, but your health does regenerate automatically but very very slow just using the dodge ability there very useful indeed uh, let's oh hi ah oh, crap don't have enough magic um, I need my companion to get back up so we can distract them and I still don't have enough magic Alright, hopefully this is finally done. Still got all enough mad, I don't think. There we go. Just gotta be dead. There we go. We'll be watching this sector. Thank you for your help, mercenary. Right, that is some of the gameplay, but uh, as you just saw there, there was a cutscene, but that was actually quite one of, one of the better cutscenes, because one of my complaints about this game is the cutscenes drag on a lot. Like when it's a, uh, maybe not the dialogue cutscenes, but more like the cutscenes that a lot of people are talking to you, it drags on a lot. Um, at times, it's uh, quite annoying. Some of the, uh, another complaint would be the lip syncing. Some of them are really out of sync, and the facial expressions and animation, the animation of the expressions, I don't really enjoy watching. Um, it, they could have a lot more benefits in this game if they did spend a lot more more time on the cutscenes. And uh, again, some of the cutscenes look pretty horrible with um, some of the textures, so that's that's bad, obviously. But that was quite an easy fight, I've got to say. I didn't actually have to heal, um, so it's not really good to show off saying it's a difficult game, but at the very, very start of it, I thought this is a very, very difficult game, and uh, it got easier once I leveled up a little bit more, but uh, and got some more perks, but it is, God, it is very, very different to some of your other games. What else do I have? Um, that's pretty much it. There's, it's a good story. Very, it's not like a difficult game. Like, oh, I can't be bothered with this. It, well, it is at bosses. It's like, oh god, I keep on dying, get hit, one hit, dead. Really, uh, really annoying. But it is a game that it's really, really sat, satisfying as hell when you kill the boss. 
nothing really else to say other than uh, I'm going to say it's a good game. I recommend you get it. It's £30 on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and 45 I believe on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and £30 on PC. So definitely pick it up and if it's in the sale, defo pick it up. If it's about £15, you have to pick it up. It's amazing. I, I did say it's a good game. It's amazing if it's £15. It's definitely worth the price. Uh, I've had a lot of fun playing this game and I will continue to. If you guys want me to do a let's play or a boss guide or something, because there is quite a few bosses in this, I've faced like five or something so far. Um, some are really difficult, some are not too difficult depending on your level. But um, once you get the demon powers, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Anyway, if you want a rating, I'm just going to say 86 out of 100. 86% good game. Thanks for watching, if you want more reviews tell me and if you enjoyed this video tell me in the comments and also make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you've not done so already. Thanks for watching, my name is Sally111, peace off.